This is a Lenovo Yoga 514 and it's got a touch screen and it is currently flickering a lot. Uh, if you sort of tap it over here, this flickering will go away. And if you plug it into an external monitor, it doesn't flicker at all. Um, the screen is cracked in a few places. The glass is cracked, but the touch screen still works. So hopefully taking this apart, we can fix the flickering. Hopefully it's just the cables come loose or something like that. And we'll be able to get this back up and running better. Um, it's from 2018. It's is a yoga so it lets you fold it and use it as a tablet if you want um, you can sort of see these cracks on there um, and it's missing some of the screws so that will speed up the process when we take it apart these screws all appear to be the same length um, and then the bottom tray comes off quite easily. And then, oh, I've actually left it on, so I do need to switch it off. Let me just switch this off. It should be off, we've got the battery here, Lenovo, a couple of screws, and that is connected here. And then we've got some dust on the fan we've got the processor under here and i think we've probably got some memory under here although it does seem very well hidden and there's a speaker over here and a speaker here and it's already got an ssd drive in here and here is the video cable. So it's quite a kind of convoluted looking cable arrangement. This is the HDMI out on this side. Power connector here. The cable goes all the way over to this point. And Let's just unclip this power ca um, video cable, pull it out, give it a quick look, check it's clean, and then connect that back in. Okay, I've given that a little bit of a dust and it's interesting the memory is under here and um, it's got this squishy bit here to put pressure perhaps on the memory and hold it down. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really look like they want you to go under there because it, it seems to be stuck in place and covered up. I've got a battery here keyboard connector there. That looks a little bit wonky, so I will just um, check that and push that in a little bit so that it's in firmly and straight. Yeah, that's looking better now. Um, so yeah, I think I've looked at this laptop previously um, and checked the thermal paste. Um, there's a few screws there for this. And I think temperature wise, this laptop seems to be okay. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I'm going to put it back together to see if this has solved the problem. If it hasn't, we might need to look at the actual screen itself. 
and these two screws here in the corner go through this hinge mechanism. So I will start with those. And you can see there's some small cracks in the plastics in various places. And there's a little bit missing on the side here. And there's a little bit of kind of a dent here around this section. And there's a bit missing here as well, but Kind of looks a little bit like a um, PlayStation 5 with the black and white colour scheme. So there's no flickering at the moment. Okay, that has not solved the flickering. There is still a lot of flickering in the screen. Kind of is disappearing. Um, does change. If I sort of move around, change the pressure. The keyboard's backlit, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, it could be something else going on with this laptop. Or the cable itself could be faulty. Might need replacing. Um, that's a shame. But for now, I guess, until I order a cable, then this may have to do. It does work with an external uh, screen, so it's, it's still a usable working laptop. And there is quite a lot of flex in the chassis or chassis. And, you know, it does bend quite a lot when you move the screen around. Um, but I think sometimes once the screen is gone, it doesn't want to come back. Um, yeah, it's quite a shame. It's an i5 processor. I think it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM. I think it's got a 250 gigabyte SSD in here. So it's, you know, certainly usable for web use and things like that. So yeah, it's a shame that the cable has gone on, I guess this design where you can fold the screen all the way around the back does move the cable more than a screen that stops at a certain point. Um, and I guess it's just worn out. So yeah, looks like I'm going to need to order a new cable for the screen. And Hopefully that can be replaced relatively easily without maybe this breaking further. Could be tricky though. It's got quite impressively loud speakers. This has got an i5-5200U processor. It's got 8 gigabytes of RAM. And yeah, problem with the screen. If you've had this kind of problem before yourself with a Lenovo Yoga laptop, let me know in the comments. Have you fixed this yourself before? You know, is this easy to take off? Is it just a cable? Do I need to replace a cable? Or is it the panel? Or, you know, are these fixable laptops or not? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.